In this video, we're going to take you through the Trust Wallet browser extension. We're going to take you through a full beginner's guide, showing you how to install it, create a new wallet, import an existing one, and also how to connect to a Ledger hardware wallet. And we'll be showing you how to connect the browser extension to decentralized applications or dApps. There'll be a timeline in the summary below for those that are looking to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information, please check out everybethelps.io. First up, a little bit about what the Trust Wallet is and their browser extension. So the Trust Wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet that allows users to manage their digital assets. With over 60 million users worldwide, the Trust Wallet supports over 8 million tokens, including the likes of Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Matic, BNB and Avalanche. Prior to November 2022, Trust Wallet was only available as a mobile app. However, they've since launched a browser extension for web browsers like Google Chrome, Opera, Edge and Brave. The Trust Wallet browser extension allows users to interact with dApps directly from their web browser and it acts as a companion to the mobile app. This feature is particularly useful, especially for those who are iOS users after Trust Wallet had to remove their dApp browser. And users can store, send and receive crypto across all the Ethereum virtual machines or EVM chains and Solana. It also includes multi-wallet support, meaning that you can import your existing wallets and you can also connect up your Ledger hardware wallet for an additional layer of security. Plus it includes unique features like network auto detect, making navigating Web3 easy. So let's jump in and take a look. To install the Trust Wallet browser extension, you're going to need to head across the Trust Wallet site, which is trustwallet.com. And just be aware of fake extensions claiming to be trust as I have heard there are some scams around. Plus also watch out for people in the comments claiming to be Trust Wallet support. Now if we head across to browser extension and get Trust Wallet, as you can see here it's available for Chrome, Brave, Opera, Edge and more. And you'll then be directed to the web store or the extension store of the browser that you're currently using. In my example I'm using Chrome, therefore the Chrome store automatically appears. And you can then choose to add to Chrome, and then add extension, and the wallet will then be added. However, if you can't yet see it, you may need to pin this to your toolbar, which you can do by clicking onto the puzzle icon on the top of your browser. Then scroll down to the Trust Wallet and choose to pin. Once that's appearing, you'll then receive a welcome message. From here, you can either create a new wallet, import an existing one, or you can connect to a Ledger hardware wallet. And I'm gonna show you all the different options today. But the first thing we're going to do is create a new wallet, just in case you don't already have one. So first you'll need to set a password, and this will need to meet their requirements. Then confirm it, and read and agree to the terms of use. Then choose proceed. You'll then need to back up your secret phrase, and this is a list of words that you must keep somewhere really safe. As if anyone gets hold of these, they will have complete control over your assets. So please just ensure that you never share these with anyone, even people claiming to be Trust Wallet, who will never request this. You'll then have the option to copy these words on the next screen, and then confirm that you've written them down correctly by putting the words in order. The next prompt asks if you want to share usage patterns with them, which is completely up to you. Then once that's complete, you'll then have the option of setting the Trust Wallet as default. Plus they also recommend pinning the extension if you've not already done so, which is obviously something we've already done. And then you can open your wallet. We're currently on the wallet tab, which you can see highlighted in the bottom left. And from here is where you can manage your digital assets. In the top left of the screen is where you'll see that we're connected to the Ethereum network, which can be switched when we click on the drop down. Here you'll see that we can connect our Trust Wallet to Avalanche, Ethereum, Polygon, Smart Chain, and other networks such as Solana, which you can switch between. Plus you can also add custom networks manually. On the far right is where you can manage your tokens and add custom tokens, which I'm going to show you how to do during this tutorial. In the centre of the wallet, you're going to find your total wallet balance in dollars and the account name which we're going to be switching between. And you've then got some send and receive buttons. Underneath that you then have a list of assets which would show all the individual balances if you had them as well as the current token price and the price changes a percentage. 
if we click onto one of these tokens, and in this example, I'm going to choose Sol. Here is where you're going to see more send and receive buttons, but this time it's for this specific token. When we choose receive, this is where you're going to find your trust wallet address for Solana. As it states, this is the address for receiving Sol on Solana. And this is then displayed as a QR code that can be scanned with a mobile device, which contains your wallet address. Or you can also copy the address from the bottom here. As I said, this is for this specific crypto. So if, for example, we head back and choose Ethereum, you'll see that this is the ETH address on the Ethereum network, and the address itself is different. And you can copy the address by clicking on the address at the bottom of the screen, and then send your crypto across to it. I'm going to go ahead now and send some ETH across to this address. Once the transaction has been confirmed, your main balance in the center of the screen will increase to the amount that you've sent across, as well as the individual balance showing in this example Ethereum. And that shows in ETH and in dollars. If instead you want to send your tokens from this address across to another wallet or an exchange for trading, you can choose to send. We are then going to be prompted to enter in a recipient address. So this is either going to be a deposit address or a receive address from another wallet. In this example, I'm going to show you how to send to the likes of the Binance Exchange. So from within Binance and your Fiat and Spot wallet, you're going to need to locate the crypto. In this example, we've said that we're going to send some ETH. Then choose Deposit to the right. An ETH will already be selected for your coin, but you'll then need to choose a network. And our wallet is currently connected to the Ethereum network, so we're going to be selecting that from the list. Then we're going to choose to copy and head back to our Trust Wallet extension and paste in the wallet address, then the amount that you want to send. When you preview, you'll need to review the transaction, which will display where you are sending from and to, the amount, the network, and it's also going to display the network fee, which you can edit. So when you edit a network fee, you can choose for it to go either faster or slower, which may come in handy if the network is more congested. And if, for example, you're in a hurry for a transaction to go through. When you're happy, you can confirm your transaction and your balance will then update. However, I'm not going to go ahead with this send transaction. And any transactions that you make within the Trust Wallet will appear under your history, which you can reach from the bottom centre of your wallet and your send history will appear in here. To view any received transactions, you're going to need to select an explorer. So if we choose Ethereum now, as I sent some Ethereum across earlier on the Ethereum network, you're then going to be taken across to Etherscan, where you can view the transaction that was sent across to our wallet earlier. And everything that we've been looking at so far is if this were a brand new wallet. But what if you've already got a Trust Wallet, or another wallet that you'd like to import into this one? Well, if we head across to settings in the bottom right of our wallet, then select the top option from the menu, which currently contains the name of our selected wallet. And at the bottom of our screen, we can choose to add new wallet. From here, you've got a couple of different options so we can import or recover a wallet. So if, for example, you're installing the Trust Wallet browser extension onto a new laptop or a computer, or if you've already got an existing Trust Wallet, you can import it into here which you can do by either pasting or typing in your secret recovery phrase for that specific wallet, which you would have taken down when you created it. Once you've completed this stage, you'll be able to interact with your assets using the extension. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect Trust Wallet extension to a Ledger hardware wallet. And in this way, you can use your Trust Wallet extension as the middleman or the interface between the likes of a DAP and your hardware wallet. If you don't really have a Ledger hardware wallet, I will have a link in the summary. So if we choose Ledger, you're then going to be directed to connect your Ledger with your computer and open the Ethereum app. Once complete, you can then choose Connect. We are then going to need to select the addresses that you want to add. If there's more than one page of these addresses, you can choose Next and then select the addresses that you want to add. When you're happy, you can then choose to continue and your ledger will then be connected, so you can view that wallet now. And your balance for the connected ledger address will then appear. 
However, I know that this Ledger hardware wallet actually contains some DAI and it's not showing up in my list of assets. So if your tokens aren't appearing in here, you may need to add them, which you can do by clicking on the icon in the top right. Then either type in or search for the token, or you can add in the contract address and turn the radio dial to display these type of tokens, which in my case is DAI on Ethereum. When I head back, you'll see that the DAI is now appearing in my wallet and my balance is now showing. And it's important to know that the address that shows for this will be the Ledger wallet address. If you want to toggle or change between the different wallets, you can head back to your main wallet screen and select the wallet that you want to interact with. So how do you use your Trust Wallet to connect to decentralized applications? Well, let's start by looking at how to connect to a decentralized application such as Uniswap. So if I choose Launch App and Connect, here I have the option to either connect a browser wallet, Wallet Connect, or the likes of a Coinbase wallet. I'm gonna choose Browser Wallet, as that's where my Trust Wallet extension is. And I'll then need to connect my wallet to Uniswap which confirms what I'm going to be allowing. Once that's complete, you'll see the wallet address appearing in the top right of the screen. And any balances will show when you go to do actions such as swapping between tokens. For example, you can see my ETH token balance and DAI, which mimics what I have in my wallet. And these tokens haven't actually left my wallet or been deposited. They're simply mirrored. And this is still interacting with the Ledger hardware wallet. And the same applies if you want to use other dApps like PancakeSwap, which I do have a full tutorial for along with Uniswap. With PancakeSwap, you'll simply need to connect wallet, choose Trust Wallet, connect your wallet, and again your token balances will then appear. If you have more than one wallet as we do, you can switch between these. By disconnecting your wallet, then swap the wallets within Trust and connect up again. And the balances will then show for this specific wallet, as you can see from my ETH balance now, which has changed. Then finally, let's take a look at the settings. So under Wallets is where you can view your wallets, which you can rename and add more as we did earlier. There's your networks. You can see any apps that you're connected to and you can revoke access if you wish. Choose languages and color modes, and you can stop the wallet from being the default. There's also a way that you can view your secret recovery phrase. And again, just be aware of your surroundings when you do so, as these could be used to restore your account and someone would then have access to your crypto if you're not careful. There's also some developer settings, blocked apps, help and support, and you can also unlock your wallet too so that you're then prompted to input your password. But that completes our tutorial for the Trust Wallet browser extension. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.